Good morning. There is no great feeling in the market as we stare at yet another soft opening. The global markets have appeared inclusive. The US stock benchmarks posted moderate gains while Europe has remained subdued. Asian markets are trading mixed. It looks as if the investors are on a wait and watch mode and appear to be reluctant in taking any major bets immediately. The Nifty is expected to remain stuck between the range of 5,100 to 5,150 and the next hurdle is near the 5,200. Fresh selling could take it as low as 5,030 to 5,050. Inflation numbers showed a spike in fuel prices. A possible trigger later in the day would be by the IIP numbers. Meanwhile, India Inc.'s global conquest continues unabated. Yet another sign of revived confidence following the financial turbulence. The economy is in a good shape, if not great. The government is aiming for the top slot in the few years. This may sound a little ambitious, but not unachievable. Much will depend on how the policy landscape unfolds, besides, of course, the state of the world economy. Among the other major headwinds includes inflation and its implication on the monetary policy. But fund flows should remain healthy, given the strong medium to long-term growth prospects for India. The rate of food inflation showed some signs of moderization, sliding to 17.81% for the week ended February 27, 2010. Cement industry registers 6.34% growth in dispatches during February. According to UN Industrial Development Organization, India has entered into the league of top 10 industrial producers for 2009. Public and private sector banks have raised 330 billion rupees through issue of capital bonds so far this fiscal. Sugar stocks, which were the star performers for 2009, are now turning out to be bitter pills for the investors who have bet their money on them. The deficiency in sugar is expected to balance out over the next few months. However, the stocks could see a temporary pullback before the next round of decline sets in. So an investor should wait for the rally to trim their positions in these stocks. Moving on to the recommendations, Harrison Malayalam, we recommend traders to buy the stock in the range of Rs. 118 to Rs. 121 with a stop loss of Rs. 114 for a target price of Rs. 130. Amara Raja Batteries, traders are advised to maintain a stop loss of Rs. 159 and go long. Book partial profit around 174 and exit around the levels of Rs. 177. On the derivative side, we have long ABB March future at Rs. 865 for a target price of Rs. 890 and a stop loss is to be placed at Rs. 855 for a lot size of 500. And long Cairn India March future at Rs. 267 for a target price of Rs. 280 and the stop loss is to be placed at Rs. 262 for a lot size of 1250. Thank you and have a great day ahead.